Hello everybody, my name is Craze, and today what I'm going to be looking at is some Modern Warfare 3 confirmed information. Um, all of this has come from Robert Bowling, also known as 402, from his Twitter. And what we're going to be looking at today in this episode is weapon tweaks for Modern Warfare 3. Now, I'm sure most of these you will have heard, but what I'm doing is just giving you some information which you might not know about and might interest you. There's quite a lot in here, so yeah, the weapon tweaks. Now, basically, the knife change is that there's no lunge on the knife and commando has been removed. A lot of people wanted to see two hit knife kills, but Robert Bowling said, but a one hit knife kill is imperative for modern warfare and how quick guns kill so it has to be a sort of counter to it so the knife has changed so grenade launcher tweaks now there's no danger close in the game at all but what they've also done is they've taken the actual raw damage for the grenade launcher down so this means that it's not going to be effective for a main weapon and there's also lots of counters to it which like the trophy system will um, stop grenades actually killing you and will stop explosives killing you at a distance which is very good news finally the last weapon tweak is the brand new weapon unlock system now in black ops we saw a currency system System, but in the new Modern Warfare 3 game, we're going to be seeing an unlock system for your gun where you have to rank up your gun slowly through a series of challenges and kind of kill challenges, and that's how you're going to unlock brand new attachments, uh, brand new proficiencies, and you have to level up your gun to get all of these really cool bits. Okay, so let's get into the next section of this video. So the next section of this video is going to be the leveling tweaks in this game. Now, what thing I really don't like about the changing COD is that every single time new CODs have come out, the, the level cap has been raised and raised and raised. And I was actually quite glad that Black Ops went down to the 50 levels. However, in Modern Warfare 3, it's going to go up to 80 levels. Now, this is not good. This is good if the level like the XP is taken down, and that's actually what's happened. So there, it's going to be less XP to level up now. So you should be able to level up quicker than you were in Modern Warfare 2 at the higher levels. Finally, um, now they're going to be, because obviously contracts and currency can't really be there, they're not going to be doing contracts in Black Ops because obviously there's no currency, but what they're going to be doing is daily challenges with XP rewards which will help you level up quicker and will bring you know, some variation to the game because after a while a game does get a little bit repetitive and it's really great to see some variation in there. Okay, so that's the end of this other segment, now we're going to get into some raw gameplay HUD tweaks and other little bits as well. Okay, so in the game now there's going to be a colorblind HUD system which changes the color of the HUD around so if you're colorblind it's easier to see. Theater mode is also back and it's been improved to make it even better so hopefully less laggy and it will record whole games and won't cut out in different sections. Um, also there's cheaters and boosters, uh, they're not going to be happy because there's actually a built in in-game feature to report players directly to IW if they're cheating, hacking or glitching or anything like that. And finally, I've had a few questions about point streaks, and some people still aren't fully sure about what they do. But the only way you can actually get point streaks are from objective play, assists if you have hardline pro, and kills. So the only ways you can get your point streaks up, and that will be the only thing which will work towards your point streak. So that's the only ways you can get it. Okay, finally, I just want to go to a final conclusion in this video, and I also want to thank you for watching. Now, I've given some like small bits of information which haven't really been covered because lots of people just you know cover the big bits they don't cover the small little bits to do with you know contract changes or theater mode coming back so i hope you've enjoyed all these little things which i've given you and what i'm going to do last is leave you with a little bit of gameplay from the juggernaut kill streak which is a little bit overpowered in my opinion but you should still enjoy it because you know it looks fun it looks really good to use and i'm actually really excited about this game so i'm going to cut out now and i'll just leave you with some gameplay for you to enjoy and for you to watch and whilst you're doing that could you like rate the video and favorite the video that would be absolutely amazing but of course, don't feel pressured into anything, and I will see you in a video very soon. Goodbye.